In this episode, we will discuss the latest livestock prices in Zambia, with most prices increasing significantly. Jacques will then discuss the effect of the first summer crop size estimates that was released by the Zambian government last week and what we can expect going forward. All in this episode, so make sure to stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Johnny van Amarwe and welcome to this week's African Agri Overview. Make sure to follow us on YouTube where we will share regular insights into the agricultural markets of Africa. For more detailed information on Sub-Saharan African soft commodity markets, please make sure to contact Jacques Pinar on the details displayed. In the latest economic news, the Kwacha continued to lose ground against the US dollar the past month, which is now trading on 19.8 Kwachas per US dollar. Saudi Arabia also announced a potential cut in oil production by about 1 million barrels per day as the current price is too low. This has caused prices to increase to just below the $80 mark over the weekend, with Brent crude oil prices stabilizing on $75 per barrel earlier this week. Livestock prices and export prices in general can gain some support from the weaker exchange rate. Looking at beef prices in Zambia specifically, the choice grade live price stayed relatively sideways on 36.5 kwachas per kilogram. Standard grade prices increased the past month to 25.5 kwachas per kilogram, while commercial grade carcass prices traded higher on 43 kwachas per kilogram, which amounts to 20 kwachas per kilogram live weight. Looking at poultry prices, it also showed an increasing trend the past month due to significantly lower supplies and the weaker exchange rate at the same time. The day-old broiler price increased to 13.17 kwachas per head, while day-old layers increased to 14.83 kwachas per head. I feel there is still some support in this market with prices that can remain on a higher level over the next month. Layer cull prices increased to 57.33 kwachas per head, while live broilers traded higher on 90 kwachas per head. The average egg price also increased to 52.67 kwachas per tray due to higher demand and lower production levels the past month. I think egg prices can stabilize on current levels now and possibly start to decrease again as we head closer to the end of the year. The latest live lamb price increased to 120 kwachas per head or 58 kwachas per kilogram carcass price. The latest goat price traded on 60 kwachas per kilogram which translates to 24 kwachas per kilogram for the carcass. Looking at pork prices however, the baconer price increased to between 49 and 52 kwachas per kilogram the past week. Looking at grain prices however, it continued to decrease with the latest maize price decreasing to $265 per metric ton, soybeans decreased to $320, the wheat price decreased to $500, while soy meal prices decreased to $330 per metric ton. Jacques will now discuss more on why these prices are decreasing at the moment. In this week's podcast, we look at the Zambia maize market. As indicated in last week's podcast, in our opinion, the two pivotal non-GM maize markets in the East and Southeast African region are Zambia and Tanzania. If these two countries produce healthy surpluses, the region is usually sufficiently supplied. If not, the region is usually in trouble from a supply perspective. Last week, we discussed the Tanzanian market and this week, we look at Zambia. Last week, the Zambian government released their first summer crop size estimates. We usually rely on the government's maize crop estimates as it is normally quite accurate. The early Zambia crop harvest has commenced and the harvest campaign should peak early July and be completed by late August. This graph illustrates our Zambia annual maize balance sheet for the past four years as well as our 2023-24 forecast. In this podcast, we will focus mainly on the 2023-24 forecast. Carry-in stocks are very low as a result of substantial exports during 2022-23 and a mediocre size crop in that year. However, government's production estimate for the 2023-24 year is at 3.26 million metric tons, 
which is well above the 2.5 to 2.7 million tons the market expected. This makes 600,000 tons available for export and could see the government reach their 500,000 ton usual strategic reserve target. Before the crop estimate was announced, the market was of the opinion government was unlikely to allow formal exports. The past week, the Agriculture Minister hinted controlled exports are likely. This is good news for Zimbabwe, the DRC and Malawi, which are likely to be net importers. It is interesting the higher crop forecast did not pressure maize prices. Also, the new crop harvest commenced early May and although still gathering momentum did not pressure prices as one would have expected. The next graph illustrates the Zambia maize price history. The blue circle indicates how prices surged for 10 months from February to December 2022 on substantial export demand and an average sized crop. In January, the Zambia government stopped formal exports and used armed forces to curb informal exports. This saw a minor price adjustment lower, but prices remained relatively high. Middle May, the Zambia government announced they will buy 500,000 tons for strategic reserves at 5,600 kwacha per ton or $287 per ton delivered to their depots across the country. See the brown line. This is a very attractive price and should be price supportive. That said, the government also indicated they only have funds to buy 300,000 tons. Could price support peter out once the government has completed its purchase program? A lot will depend on export demand, which is expected to remain high. It is rather difficult to make a price prediction short medium term. During the 2021-22 season, prices slipped to below $150 a ton, when a similar sized crop to the one currently expected was produced. However, carry in stocks in that year was relatively big and exports average. Observers believe healthy export demand will prevent prices slipping below $230 to $240 a ton and feel a $240 to $280 a ton price range second half of 2023 is a realistic outlook. Thank you very much, Jock. For more detailed information on sub-Saharan African soft commodity markets, please make sure to contact Jock Pinar on the details displayed on screen. I'm Dr. Johnny van der Merwe and thank you for watching.